right now the family medicine training uh, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, again it's uh, concept of family physician is reviving nowadays uh, and also post covid there are a lot of changes being made there are a lot of uh, uh, emphasis given on primary care there's a lot of primary care chain of pain is coming up also in certain cities uh, but the thing is uh, 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 the training courses are still uh, lagging behind because uh, right now we do have very limited number of seats in terms of uh, family medicine and uh, these training uh, seats they include md in medical colleges uh, and also certain medical colleges uh, like cmc vello calicut medical college we do have st johns we do have aims who are uh, running the family medicine md course we do have lot of institutions who have uh, dmb family medicine training so uh thankfully it has come up so uh, previously uh, the only uh, option for uh, training in family medicine was dnp but uh, eventually the md family medicine the, these over a couple of uh, years back they have started many medical colleges have started md family medicine uh, and also dnb also is gaining popularity nowadays there is also uh, there are other uh, 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 specialty training course which uh, MBBS graduate can uh, uh, apply to that is MRCGP International. So this is nothing but uh, it's a Royal College of General Practitioners. Uh, it's a uh, degree uh, which is it's an exit exam. So you need to be working in a primary care setting or a clinic in order to be eligible to appear for the exam. And once you it has two parts, namely namely the part one and part. part one is theory and part two is a clinical exam and once you clear this you will be uh, given a, and once you uh, fulfill the prerequisites that is working in a primary care setting for a, a set number of years you will be qualified mrcb international and you can practice as a family physician this will not only uh, this will also improve your uh, uh, treating skills and knowledge regarding variety of illnesses also there are a lot of diploma in family medicine courses uh, for to name a some like There is something called PG Diploma in Family Medicine (PGDFM). Uh, there is MMed in Family Medicine course by CMC Bello, and uh, Medvarsity also offers a Family Medicine Fellowship right, for one year. So, right. uh, so, so all these training courses can be considered. So, uh, the idea behind why I'm talking is this: uh, you, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if uh, you don't, you should not waste much of your time in cracking entrances. So, don't waste two, three years in cracking entrances. But rather, you can. Uh, try for these courses okay uh, although uh, having said that uh, right now uh, md and dnb family medicine although they need a rank in order to be eligible to uh, for appearing for the training course but these courses the mrcp international your diploma in family medicine this can be done even without taking entrance exam uh, although uh, it needs a lot of preparation in order to uh, complete the exam at the end of the course so mrcp international has uh, i mean there are certain standards uh and we uh, look uh, in an any individual or candidate to have this specific standards of care in order to be qualified for any mrcp international that's also uh, it's an exam based so and also uh, uh, i mean if you prepare well and if you uh, i mean uh, if you are uh, not able to crack the neat exam then exam. we might as well uh, look for these alternate courses and also one beauty about family medicine is there's a good job satisfaction because Uh, you come to know about the patient, your patient, your and your patient will become your own uh, follow-up long-term uh, patients. And also, uh, I mean, you get to know about their families, uh, and uh, there's a good uh, job satisfaction. So you, the patient develops trust in you, and also uh, I mean, you'll be able to help out uh, a lot number of patients by your uh, practice. It also opens career to a wide range of opportunities. as i said earlier uh, i mean i used to work as a hospitalist after uh, completing my family medicine training uh, and uh, uh, the thing is uh, why i chose hospitalist that i was uh, interested in treating more of acute illnesses uh, so that was the uh, uh, that's why i took up the hospitalist so hospitalist uh, concept of uh, uh, managing uh, giving comprehensive care to inpatients so family medicine since they are trained in uh, managing multiple issues uh, in an individual uh, they can work as a hospitalist but i would suggest uh, uh, i mean uh, better opt for the ambulatory care that is outpatient practice uh, in a community because uh, there's a lot of 
demand and also there's a lot of necessity for the doctors to be in the community so that uh, i realized later so that's why i switched my gears to outpatient practice full time because i wanted to focus more on the preventive aspects of a disease so that i can help patients who are having chronic conditions uh, i mean uh, they uh, uh, to treat their illnesses for a uh, and to keep the disease under control so that uh they avoid a hospital uh, i mean admission so that uh, so that's why i'm into preventive medicine now so and also uh, i uh, practice some kind of uh, lifestyle medicine also and and i'm helping certain patients to uh, uh, be better in terms of their health so that uh, uh, the chronic conditions can be managed in a better way so and also uh, uh, by wide range of opportunities i mean there is also career opportunities uh, uh, if you are looking for uh, training in the uh, abroad uh, there are career opportunities so once uh, you clear the uh, uh, dnv finals in there uh, there are opportunities in gulf countries uh, but uh, having uh, a lot of opportunities in india itself why would you want to go outside india i mean you have plenty of opportunities in india and i would suggest like uh, uh, it's all up Uh, in you uh, in order to take this up and also bring out the uh, necessary changes uh, which is uh, desirable uh, in india so the healthcare system has to be changed a lot of groundwork has to be made uh, and also uh, there's uh, one more uh, thing i want to highlight is there's a good work life balance that is uh, you do have a good family life you have decent income not as uh, uh I mean, you uh, not as compared to as the uh, what uh, super specialist make but you have a decent income which you can sustain in india and also uh, one more uh, good uh, uh, uh this one uh, what do you call uh, one more good uh, point is that uh, you won't get bored of your practice so each patient is a different patient so you might have a elderly man with a uh, uh, mi uh, neck, uh, outside your clinic Whereas the next patient would be a pediatric case group with a febrile seizures, so there's a lot of uh, variation. variation in patients which you treat. So uh, and also, uh, I mean, you'll have a good. Uh, you will never get bored of your practice. So that's what uh, one of the uh, important uh, aspects of family medicine is. So and also, I would like to end my slide by uh, quoting uh, one of the. Uh, famous renowned uh, cardiothoracic surgeon his name is dr christian uh, barnard so he says that i have saved lives of 150 people by heart transplants if i had focused on preventive medicine earlier i might have saved 150 million so that's what the concept of family medicine is that we need to work more on preventive aspects more on uh, community outreach more on uh, treating patient as a whole and also emphasis has to be given on prevention so that we avoid complication of illnesses we avoid uh, uh, burdening tertiary care centers so that's about it